All right, hello YouTube, welcome back to the Grease Comics YouTube channel. Today's video, it will be the first video of a 25 part series. We are going to be doing a daily upload until Christmas. So if you're seeing this later, we are gonna be doing a video from December 1st to December 25th. It's gonna be the 25 days of Winds of Winter. So each day we will be talking about either a different plot line, a different character, um, this or that. Uh, if you guys would like to give your suggestions, you could. I already kind of have a layout of every video I'm going to be doing, but I will try to work some in uh, as I can. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Barrist and Selmy. I think I've done maybe one video on him in the past, so I wanted to start out this one with character I don't talk about much. Um, I wanted to try to stay clear of ones I've done in the last like six months. So Barrison's gonna be the one we do for today. I think I have a lot of a different takes than some people usually do. There are a lot of people in the community that think he's just going to die very early on in the next book. Um, and I don't think that's going to happen. But before we get into the video, if you guys like to like, subscribe, and comment, please do it up, share, and grow your people that might like this content as well. And also, we're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers. When we do that, I'm going to be doing a massive live stream, um, just celebrating that. We'll be doing a Q&A. So again, if you guys have questions, whether it's about Barristan, whether it's about me, uh, the channel, anything else, Song of Ice and Fire, leave those down there, and I will add it to the list, and we will be answering a bunch of those on stream when that does happen. So, getting into Barristan Selmy. Barristan Selmy, we leave him off of he's kind of in control of Marine at the moment. He kind of has a Ned Stark moment where he's kind of taking over uh, from his Dar because his Dar has kind of started getting rid of a lot of Daenerys' supporters and a lot of people that she's kind of put in power. And he's kind of taken sole uh, possession of the power right now. And he's kind of helped along believe that his Dar is part of the Sons of the Harpy and is kind of taking over. And there's another thing that happens at this point as well, where the dragons, they've basically been released. Quentin tries to take one, and he ends up getting burned, and he is probably going to die, presumably. And to build even on that, because we have a lot of things that kind of climax and happen all at the same time for Barrison and the Marine plot, the Battle Marine is about to go underway. And this involves a lot of our other characters like Tyrion, so what I think is going to happen here is what we know is that Barristan is going to lead the, the Unsullied out, and there's going to be a battle with the Slavers. Now, to me, I think Barristan will live through this battle. We already know that Tyrion is convincing the Second Sons to switch sides. Now, again, the Second Sons are not the same in the book. The book is a bit different. Uh, Dario's, like... Cell Sword Company is the Stormcloaks, not the Second Sons. Second Sons are actually with Brown Ben Plum, who Tyrion is with and has kind of convinced them to switch sides. So what I think is going to happen is we're going to see the Slavers lose. They have to lose, right? But I think the idea is a lot of people have built on the idea that Barristan dies here. He goes out with kind of an honorable death fighting for his queen and he dies in battle. And... I think that's a decent idea, but I like the idea of Barrison staying around much better. Think about what's going to be happening with Daenerys' arc. So Daenerys' arc is going to be going to an idea of her versus young Griff. That's where I feel like the conflict of the story is building towards. Um, and I think it's going to be a very interesting idea where Barristan, what does Barristan think of this? And Barristan has so much information and insight into Rhaegar, uh, Elia that keeping him around would be a great way of exploring that and how Daenerys is going to eventually deal with young Griff. And now, again, we will have an entire different discussion about Daenerys at this point, but Daenerys is kind of off doing her thing with the Dothraki. I think most people believe it's going to go somewhat similar to how the show went, where she gets control of the Dothraki, or at the very least escapes, comes back to Marine, and she starts moving to Westeros because she kind of has to. Um, we don't have like four books for her to just kind of mess around. So she's got to get going. So the question here is if Barrison does survive the Battle of Marine, where does he go from there? I think he serves as an advisor to Daenerys. And I think at some point, whether this be with the other with war with the others or the war against young Griff, he is slain. Now, I think if he wants to go the Mad Queen route, it would depend on the time frame of when the conflict in the South gets fixed. So, 
if we go off the way the show did it and they went the others are the problems first. I think Barristan either dies in the war with the others, which makes sense. It would be an honorable death for Barristan. He dies in battle um, fighting the great threat. Um, but I like it a little bit more if he dies in battle fighting young Griff's forces. Because I think if George does want to go the route of Daenerys is going to go crazy, which I don't think I'm going to predict that uh, at this point, but if I think he wants to play on her uh, emotions and build upon her character, I think Barristan dying in, in a battle against young Griff, so it puts the blame on young Griff, uh, quote-unquote, in her mind, I think that's when Barristan goes out. So I think Barristan in the, the book series will be alive quite a bit longer. I, I think Barristan in, in my timeline and the way I look at how things are going to go survives Winds of Winter. I think Barristan makes it to probably Dream of Spring um, and then he is going to be killed off in battle. I, I, I would, I think it's a real shame if George killed Barristan outside of battle and I, I would hate that for his character. Um, it's kind of like if Stannis was to die like how he did in the show where he dies because of terrible military strategy. That's kind of how I feel about Barristan, and I don't think George would kill Barristan in that kind of way. Um, I, I think Barristan will die probably in combat. I think that would be a great way of having him uh, go out. So, let me know what you guys think about Barristan's fate in Winds of Winter. I, for me, like the timeline of him surviving much more than without. I like the idea that, yes, Daenerys will be much more alone. She'll have lost a lot of her trusty companions uh in starting with Barristan. But I also think Barristan adds a lot more to the story that George can use, especially with setting up this conflict of young Griff is possibly Rhaegar and Elia's son. Barristan would have a lot of insight into what they look like as children, or if this seems like a possibility, there's a lot there, right? And and even Barristan would have known Rhaegar quite well. So, if young Griffin, say, Danny were to have a meeting, kind of like, you know, Renly's Peach, right? If Danny and young Griff meet, Barristan would be able to see if young Griff is like Rhaegar at all, right? And so, there's a lot of things that I really love about Barristan still being alive uh, later in the story that I think would be great for George to do. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Barristan will survive Winds of Winter or not? And thank you guys all for watching the video. Again, subscribe if you don't want to miss a video. We're going to be doing a video again every single day until Christmas. We're going to be kind of talking about most of the major characters. Tomorrow's will be Brienne, so stick uh, forward for that one. I don't think I've ever actually done a Brienne Winds of Winter one. I'm not sure. I know I talked about her in my 1,000 subscriber video, but I don't know if I've done a single video like directly on her. So that'll be fun for you guys. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.